I think the fact that Ash lost a hand is, it is significant. Star Wars is about the only other time that they really maimed a lead character. Boy, did he get that hand back fast. It was only missing for about two scenes. I've been living with that crap for 35 years now. Well, it wasn't until about three movies later that we realized how difficult Evil Dead was. The first Evil Dead, Ash pretty much survives. He has all his body parts. Uh, I was 21. It was my first acting job. I didn't collect my pay because I was one of the producers. We didn't know what a bad acting job was. We didn't know what a lousy location was. We were actually in a weird piece of property on private property in rural Tennessee. Uh, and I get very disturbed to this day. Uh, someone will come and drop a rock on my table at a signing. And I'm like, is that where I think it's from? They, go, they start laughing like, yeah. They're dismantling the sandstone rock fireplace of the original cabin. They're sneaking onto that private property in Tennessee and stealing crap. So don't, don't, you will be shot up the butt. Don't go. There's a time capsule too that we left. There's a cigar box full of relics that people have actually been digging holes and looking for. But Sam Raimi came to me, he goes, I'm gonna cut off uh, one, of your, one of your hands. I'm like, what? He goes, yeah, I'm gonna cut off one of your hands. Which one do you want? And I was a lefty. So I said, cut off my right. So Evil Dead 2 has a whole sequence of Ash starting off fighting his own hand. So there's a lot of this business. So you're welcome, Jim Carrey. You know, fighting with himself, which is not something you learn at the acting school courses. But the ramifications are you go, when you really think about it, you really take out time and you go, okay, so how do we portray Ash without a hand? When you try and say that your hand is this much shorter, you either have to like hide it down or lower, and it can't, the end of your hand, if you're saying this is my stump, it can't be wiggling. So you actually have to fasten something that keeps your own hand from so you have to put your own hand in a horrible restraint. It was this latex glove that we would put on, but, but then it's still too long, so you have to then tuck it away. It's a whole big magilla. So Evil Dead 2, uh, I have a fake chainsaw. We made it as light as possible, but it still had to have its own engine in it, so it couldn't be too light. And Sam Raimi wanted smoke coming out of it. The only way to do that was to run tubes down my arm and out my leg and the only type of smoke that would travel the distance that we needed to from the cooker to coming out was tobacco smoke. So I'm getting secondhand all day long and then at the end of the day they pull the tubes out and I have a tobacco stain that runs down my entire body, which is the most, it's the tar stain. It's the most disgusting thing ever. So thanks for bringing that up. But that became his weapon. That comes with its own fresh hell because now you go, oh great, I, I don't have to wear that stump rig and now I got, oh, now it's all about chainsaws. Chopping up my evil clone. Maybe someday that'll feel weird. We did improve on that a lot. Ash vs. Evil Dead, we finally went to lightweight materials. We've got a rubber one for fighting. We have an actual 12 volt that I can make the, the saw revolt myself with my own little trigger. And then we have a full on lightweight hollow graphite one it's the best yet. It's got a little gripper in there, and that one just goes, foomp, you put it on, and you're ready, ready to go. Army of Darkness was the first use of a glove that he can then use for things, too. Not only gets his hand back, so I could do basic functions, but it's a steel glove that can smash things, and it's got a little hydraulic crap. <sighs> Groovy. But it finally got really perfected in Ash vs. Evil Dead. Character Pablo makes it for Ash as a gift. It's got little tools and lights and stuff on it. It's a pretty cool. We still have yet to fully explore it, but I got my, my damn hand back. We're very grateful that the fans have accepted it because we could have come back as old geezers and fallen on our face. You know, they could have gone, ah, oh, nobody wants to watch that idiot. Uh, so they've been really good about accepting this new version of Ash, an even bigger loser than before. And so we're very grateful for that, certainly. See, it's still happening.